Welcome to Master English, the podcast, where we dive into the art of mastering the English language. I'm your host, Emma, and today we have a special guest with us. John, a language enthusiast and instructor, joins us to discuss a topic that's important for all English learners, daily routines. Hi, John. It's great to have you on the show. Hi, Emma. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. John, let's get right into it. Can you share with our listeners why establishing a daily routine can be beneficial for learning English? Of course. A daily routine helps create a structured environment that can foster learning. When you incorporate English practice into your everyday activities, it becomes a natural part of your life, making it easier to retain and apply what you've learned. That makes a lot of sense. What would you say are some essential components of an effective daily routine for someone looking to improve their English? Well, consistency is key. Start your day with a few minutes of listening to English audio, such as a podcast or a news broadcast. Reading an article or a chapter from a book in English can also be very helpful. Additionally, try to engage in conversation, even if it's just talking to yourself or practicing with language exchange partners. Practicing writing by keeping a journal in English can also solidify your learning. Those are some great tips. Speaking of audio content, do you have any specific recommendations for our listeners? Yes, definitely. Besides podcasts like Master English, audiobooks and TED Talks are great resources. Listening to a variety of accents and speech patterns can significantly improve comprehension. Also, apps like Duolingo or Rosetta Stone can be very valuable. You mentioned reading as part of the daily routine. What type of reading materials would you suggest for different levels of English learners? For beginners, I would recommend starting with short stories or children's books. They often use simpler language and can be very engaging. Intermediate learners can move on to newspapers or magazines, which introduce more diverse vocabularies. Advanced learners might enjoy novels or nonfiction books that challenge their understanding and expose them to more complex sentence structures and idioms. That's very insightful. Now, let's talk a bit about the practical aspects. How can someone stay motivated and stick to their routine, especially when life gets busy? It's all about setting realistic goals and celebrating small victories. Allocate specific times for practicing English and consider it an important part of your day. It can be helpful to set reminders. Also, find ways to make learning fun, like joining a language club or setting challenges for yourself. Tracking your progress and seeing how far you've come can be a huge motivator. Absolutely. Before we wrap up, do you have any final advice for our listeners who are keen on integrating English learning into their daily routines? Yes. Remember that learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. It's okay to have off days, but the important thing is to get back on track. Enjoy the process, stay curious, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Every mistake is a learning opportunity. Great advice, John. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your insights. Thank you, Emma. It's been a pleasure. And that's a wrap for this episode of Master English. I hope you found today's discussion helpful and inspiring. Remember to incorporate English into your daily routine and keep practicing. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and leave us a review. Until next time, keep mastering English. Goodbye.